I am going to show you how to create a form using Python. Okay, what the, 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 the text editor that I am using is VS Studio, is VS Code. VS Code. You can you can you you can use PyCharm or, or whatsoever, but I am using VS Code. So let's begin. Before we can create that 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 form in uh, Python, we're going to import the TK inner. So from we're going to import we're going to import all. So let's begin. So what we're going to do, we're going to create the root equal to tk. Now we're gonna we are gonna create the form. So let's create a form. So we're gonna say root dot geometry, and we're gonna set the size for the form. So the size for the form is five hundred. Remember to use x. Don't use the, the, the this the, the star. Use the x. I'm gonna put five five hundred times four hundred, and then now after that we're gonna run the main loop. So it's root dot main loop so let's see what we have here so what we have we have a, we have an empty form with nothing so what we're going to do, we're going to put, we're going to put in the information in the form. So this form that we're going to create is a registration form. So let's create the form. So next step, we're going to put a title, root dot title. Registration form. So if we should run it, we're going to see So if we run it, we're going to see up the top here we have registration form. So, let's let's create the title. So, title equal to label and we're going to put this we're, we're, we're going to put it in the root because remember right here after we we import the tk we we, we create a root so we're going to put the the, 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 the the label title in the root so we're going to give it a font And we're going to see, because this is a title, Arial, put this at 15. So let's run it and see what happened. Nothing happens because we haven't placed that in the form. So we're going to place the labor in the form. So to place the labor in the form, it is title dot pack. And we're supposed to have our beautiful label at the top. Sorry, we didn't we didn't enter the text. So let's go ahead and enter the text. So we're gonna say text is equal to we're gonna say R E G I S. 
T-R-A-T-I-O-N form. So we're going to run this now. Beautiful. So at the top we have registration form. So let's close this. So let's put in the entries. So first what we need is the first name. So F name labor is equal to So we're going to have You want to put remember put it in the root text is equal to F I R S T N A M E and we're gonna use the same Arial font but this time we're gonna make it the font size to be eleven. I put front, it is font. Okay. So so we're gonna place it on the form. So that would be so if we should look on the form, we're going to see the first name. Beautiful. So we're going to we're going to push it down a little. So we're going to see Patty is equal to say 7. So we'll just look Beautiful. So let's put the entry. So the entry is like an input box. That is where we're going to enter the data. And the data that we're going to enter here is the first name. So F underscore N A M E E E N T R tree is equal to entry. So F name sorry F underscore name E N T R Y is equal to entry. Remember Python is very case sensitive. So we're gonna put it in the root and the width is equal to sorry is equal to 35 hold on my num lock was off 35 okay so let's take a look at it so what we're gonna do now we're gonna place this on the form so it's F name entry dot pack so let us look how it, it uh, let's see how it looks on the form. So we have first name and we can enter our first name here. So let's enter the other entries. So after first name we have L name. equal to labor remember we're going to put it in the root and the font is equal to Arial 11 and we're going to place it on the form dot pack 
So we're going to create the entry now. So it will be L N A M E E N T R Y is equal to E N member root and the width is equal to 35. So next it will be the address. Address would be equal to the label member root font is eleven, and we're going to put this on the form so we're going to do the, the entry for the address so place it in the root width is 35 and we're going to place this on the form now the next one is the zip so it's zip l a b e l labor is equal to Remember, put it in the root. So we're going to um, the, the, the font is equal to 11. And we're going to put it on the form. Now, what we didn't do here, we didn't put the text, what we want to go on the form. So where we have the labor, we're going to put, remember here, we had root, the text is first name, then the font. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to make the necessary adjustment. So put in text is equal to... C in the ME and tax is equal to address and down here so we have that 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 so we're going to put in the text here is equal to Z I P C O D E C O D E. So that is the zip code. Now down here we are now we have so what we have on the form let's look at the form what we have so far we have we have first name last name address and zip code it is kind of jumbled so let's sort it out so let's see what's the problem with this form now So let's put this on the form. 
and name entry dot pack. So this is now on the form. This is on the form. Oh, we didn't we didn't create an entry for the the zip code. So this would be zip e n t r y equal entry, and we're gonna put it in the root, and the width is equal to thirty five. So zip entry dot pack. So let's look on our form. We are getting somewhere. So we have the first name, the last name, the address, and the zip. So let's correct the zip. Good. So let's look back on it right now and see how it looks. Beautiful. So we have the first name. We have the last name. We have the address. And we have the zip code. Okay, so what we're going to do to complete our form, we're going to put a button. So we have B U T T U N button so equal to B U Let's place it in the root. So the text on the button is equal to submit. So let's place this on our form. And run the form. So we have first name, last name, address, and zip, and we can submit it. So this is a simple registration form that I have done in Python using the TK commands to create this beautiful, simple little form. Okay, so the next the next episode I will show you how to submit these information to a database so when you put in the name the first name the last name the address and the zip code you're gonna press submit and it's going to be saved in a database so watch out for the next video great